Abiotic factors are the non-living components of an ecosystem. They tend to make up the physical components of the habitats in which the biotic or living parts of the ecosystem exist. The main abiotic factors are soil, oxygen or air, water, and sunlight. Abiotic factors create the conditions necessary for primary producers or plants to photosynthesize and create the basis on which the rest of the ecosystem thrives. Soil becomes not only the nutrient base for photosynthesis by providing the chemical building blocks for the plants, but also the habitat for many subterranean animals. Biotic factors exist in an ecosystem in a variety of forms. They are grouped together into communities which have populations of organisms or species. These containers fit inside one another like a dartboard and are called an ecological hierarchy. The communities of organisms interact with each other in three main ways. For example, barnacles hitch a ride on whales. The whales don't even notice the barnacles, but the barnacles are transported around the ocean, exposing them to new food sources, which is a major benefit. This kind of relationship where one organism benefits and the other organism is neither benefited or harmed is called commensalism. Mutualism is another type of organism interaction. It happens when two organisms interact to both species benefit. This would be like bees, bats, or birds that are pollinators. They receive food from the flowers and in the process of collecting this food, transfer po pollen from one flower to another, allowing for reproduction in the plants. The final interaction is when one organism benefits and the other one is harmed, like hookworms and dogs. The dog gets very sick from the hookworm, which has burrowed its way in and moved into the intestine, where it gets its nutrients from the dog. This allows the worm to reproduce. The worm is dependent on the dog's system for nutrients, but in the process of its life cycle is very detrimental for the dog.